Welcome back everybody. It's your boy Girl Bro back to you with another flower update. It's day 50 in here. We're currently looking at the mandarin cookie. Really starting to purple out now. Last week we couldn't see it that much, but you definitely see it now. Definitely getting some perps. It's gonna be heavy perp, I think. Just coming out beautiful, frosty, wonderful. Really dense as well. Very, very dense buds. Way denser than the Gorilla Glue. Just, just little rocks, bro. Let's go over the environment. It's currently 72 and 50% humidity. It's up to 55 now because I got all the fans and uh, the humidifier turned off so I can make this video and this will go up very fast. I gotta make this a quick video because it'll be 70 in here within 15 minutes. I just watered too. Well, I'm in the middle of watering. I'll show you guys what my process is on that. It's pretty uh, caveman. Basically, hose and wand. And I come in here and I water all of the plants individually. I use a timer, so I'll give each like 40 seconds or 50 seconds or whatever I'm doing. And then I collect all the water out of the saucers with a wet vac and then i take that wet vac and dump it out so it's a bitch but i don't do that every watering i do that every two three waterings and uh right now they're just getting zero parts per million and uh 6.0 to 6.3 ph we're just running a bunch of water through them they've already been flushing since day 45 so i think it'll be very clean very white ash the plants should start to fade very soon some of these gorilla glues are man what's with my white balance bro holy shit i gotta reset this white balance after this video holy you can't see shit but yeah these mandarin cookies are just looking wonderful Tops everywhere. Some leaves are purpling, some are not yet. I think that'll all catch up eventually. And this thing will just be a big purple ass bush. Sorry about the white balance, guys. Gotta figure that out. It's really bad. Can't get like any close ups. This Gorilla Glue is doing wonderfully too. Just chunks everywhere, but I already know what this does. I've been growing this for a few years now. And the Gorilla Glue is definitely uh, perform well. And this ain't no regular glue. I know I'm biased because I'm growing it, but dude, usually I smoke a strain for two weeks and you get used to it, you know? It doesn't hit you like it did day one. This Gorilla Glue, I've been smoking for months. And every morning when I roll a joint of this shit, I have to put half out because I get like fucking anxiety, bro. Like it's so fucking strong. It's like when an edible starts hitting you and you're like, am I gonna make it? That type of fucking feeling. Very fucking strong, just completely covered in crystal. Just fucking potent ass weed. Man, I suck at this camera. Very, very strong weed. This Gorilla Glue. That's why I call it the King Kong Glue. Cause there ain't no regular Gorilla, this is some King Kong. But yeah guys, let me get back to watering and I'm gonna show you how uh, that goes. You know, here at Grow Bro, we're transparent, man. This is what I'm feeding, 6.2 pH, zero parts per million. Two reses, 55 gallons, get dumped into this room. That's why I have to run another small dehumidifier right now because it, it just can't keep it uh, under uh, 55 with just the Quest. Especially right now, it's really wet outside. It's like 90% humidity. We've had rain here and shit. So I'm using a little backup dehumidifier and it's doing the job.
5.2 pH, 3,830 runoff. <coughs> Remember like two weeks ago or a week ago, it was 6,800 or something, almost 7,000. So yeah, they're flushing out for sure. And we'll keep dropping that as much as we can. Just straight water, baby. All right, watering's finally done. That was a pain in the ass like it always is. Never get used to that shit. But hey, if the girls need it, grow bro does it. That's all that's gonna be happening for the next, what was today, day 50, 60. I'm gonna take these girls to day 65. So, they're receiving a 20 day flush. Maybe that's a little too much, but fuck it. I know that smoke gonna be smooth. Smooth as fuck. Yeah guys, over the next few days, I'm gonna be lowering. I'll say every other day, I'll lower the temperature by a degree. So tomorrow, I'll lower it to around 70. Hold on, what's it set at right now? Let's see. Set to 73, okay, so that one's right. Um, yeah, I'll bring it down to 72, and then two days later, 71, 70, 69, 68, and the last few days of flower, I wanna be at around 65 degrees during the day, and around 62 degrees during the night. And I'll feed them probably the last time, three or four days before that 65th day, so let's say day 60, 61. They'll get their last feeding of water, and then I'll wait till the pots dry out for the next two or three days, and then I'm just gonna give it 24 hours of darkness, and just don't run the heat, don't run nothing. Let it get like fucking 30 degrees in here. Fuck it. And then that day, come in, and uh, after the 24 hours of darkness, chop all this shit down, hang it. Oh, I'll also be going through and deleafing as soon as they soak some of this water up, because they just got a, got a heavy watering, I'll let the water run through, do its thing for a few days, and probably in two or three days, I'm gonna go through and de-leaf again, take off as much of these leaves as I can. Anything with a stem is getting snapped off. So, so that's gonna come off anyway, and I might as well do it now and get some more light penetration into the canopy, instead of having to do it when I, when I uh, trim. So yeah guys, everything's looking beautiful. The mandarin cookies are really purple and out. Really happy with the way this growth went. Well, I still got a little bit to go, don't jinx it, but it's pretty much over now, man. Just keep giving them water. Keep dropping that temperature. The humidity will be dropped too. Probably the last few days, I'll get the humidity as low as I can get it. Who knows, 40, 45, 40, 35, I don't know. Whatever, however low as I, I can get it, I will, because that will really promote the plant to stress out and put on that extra bit of resin towards the end. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And until next time, peace.